Okay, I'm just quickly going to go ahead and show off a couple of the features of mobile terminal app here, and really why I like it a lot better than ConnectBot. So, it, has, it uses the standard keyboard, and that means that I get the full space for uh, letters. Even though it's on a smaller screen than my Evo, I think it's a, I think it's a little easier to hit, and of course symbols are on the different uh, page there. Um, but the thing that I, one of the things that I really like is that it makes it very easy to hit control keys. So for instance, uh, let's uh, hit return a couple of times, and I'm going to type control L. How do I type control L? Well, I'm going to do this swipe down right, um, which I have bound customizably in mine to be uh, the next button is going to be a control button, so I'm going to hit control, then L. Uh, so that's very good. And then I have up, bound, also. Um, of course, I don't have anything interesting in my history, but uh, it's okay, I can hit control U. Um, the other thing that I really, really like about MobileTerminal.app that I really, really wish the ConnectBot had is uh, this. So if I push down, then I get a list of button things that I can do. It's kind of this um, radial menu type thing. And so let's go select home from that menu. And that automatically inputs SSH-L Joshua, Joshua Wisecom. Okay. So hit enter, and it'll sit there and churn, and there we go. And now I'm ssh done over there. <clears throat> and similarly, I can have sub-menus bound in there. And I think that's really what's powerful about this is, so uh, by the way, here's, uh, here's the list of default things that they've got. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but I have a customizable, I have a customized submenu here um, that I have bound. It's called name, and it has all the things that I do often in name. So there's, I don't know if you can read those, but I'll read them off to you. There's slash jump, um, there's winless tide, screen dash dr, and then freenode fnet cs lounge. Uh, then I, there's, I have something bound to detach, control ad, right? Uh, and then I, of course, shadow world. Um, so I can hit that screen dash dr button, of course, on this machine on dash nine. I don't actually have any name screen sessions, but there's screen dash dr and you know, pi and et cetera, right? And you know, the other thing that I think uh, mobile terminal app really does right, uh, let's detach from there, um, is um, if I turn the thing sideways, then I still get a very usable system. Um, it automatically resizes the terminal to something that makes sense with the soft keyboard there, right? Because, um, because this device only has a soft keyboard. Um, as all of the uh, iPhone OS, iPod OS devices do, right? So, you know, I can screen back in and things look reasonable to me. You can see that I've got a lot of spam lately. Um, oh, right, that's a button that I uh, hit sometimes that, I, that gets in my way. But you can also change, um, you can change terminals and also there's, there's scroll, uh, the scroll back right on the right there. So, you know, it doesn't really interfere. I think, I think that the uh, mobile terminal that app guys really did an excellent job. Um, and of course, the only problem is that it crashes periodically. But um, I really wish, I really wish that ConnectBot could do some of that stuff.